Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. I'm John Zimmerman and this is my wrap up video from my Paris visit from last November. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is just kind of play a little bit of video uh, in the background as I give you my reflections and uh, thoughts about uh, what that experience was really all about. Uh, what we're seeing on screen here is uh, the former motorway along the Seine that was turned into a walking and biking environment. And this is quintessential Paris right here. Uh, throngs of people getting around in the streets. Uh, no better way to exemplify that truly streets are for people <laughs> than right here in Paris. Uh, now, if you've watched some of my Ride Along series videos, uh, you know that uh, I was out and about exploring uh, all different parts of Paris, including making my way up to the northern suburbs. This is the playlist. I think there's 16 or 17 videos out there right now. One of the streets I spent a lot of time on was this one right here. I was near the hotel, uh, the Boulevard de Sebastopol. Um, really quite extraordinary when you consider the amount of vibrancy and the number of people walking and biking uh, along this stretch of road. Uh, I love this shot here just because of the large uh, cargo bike that is there. We're seeing more and more of this in many of our large cities and so Paris was no exception to that as well. Uh, just wonderful to see this type of cycle logistics coming into fruition uh, in, in these cities. I mean, it's absolutely necessary. They're far too dense and far too busy to have massive uh, delivery vans all over the place. And uh, many, as you may know, uh, I did attend the International Cargo Bike Festival uh, at the end of October. And again, uh, all this footage is from last November and October. And uh, yeah, just really wonderful to see cargo bikes starting to be used commercially in cycle logistics much needed and uh, you'll see that repeated throughout some of this footage is you know how incredibly important it is to get some of those delivery vehicles off of the streets especially in these incredibly busy environments now you see a near miss right there and that's going to be another similar theme that you will see throughout here uh, another uh, <laughs> near miss at that same intersection uh, and that's one of the biggest challenges i think we have is we're seeing a cultural shift here in Paris and we, we're, we're getting some protected bikeways. That's fantastic. But at the same time, we still have a driving mentality, an aggressive driving mentality that exists in this environment. And so there's a little bit of, you know, push and shove happening along here. A little bit of adjustment happening to, uh, you know, being able to adjust the behavior accordingly. But what I really wanna emphasize on, you know, some of this video that we're gonna see here today is the fact that it is in fact working. We're seeing people navigating through the city and we also really, I think, see just how incredibly important it is for a busy city like Paris, a vibrant city like Paris, uh, to be able to uh, embrace active mobility and micro mobility uh, for everyone being able to get around the city. All ages and abilities out there, uh, getting around the city through active mobility. This is really what we need to do in many of our cities, all of our cities, uh, to become more healthful, to become more sustainable, uh, to become more vibrant. We don't really you know, survive, we don't really thrive if we are in an environment which is dominated by automobiles. Now, this particular street, we do see that there's still automobiles here. There's still probably way too many automobiles. And now we're uh, at a different location here and we're seeing that, you know, we see taxis, we see the buses, but we also see people still wanting to get around by walking and biking. And that is, I think, a, a key thing. The other thing I wanna point out is is that in many of these images that you're seeing, you're seeing the Valib bikes out there. You're seeing some Lime bikes out there. So bike share is really thriving in the city of Paris. And I have to believe that part of that is because that we are seeing these enhancements in the bicycle network uh, in place. You see another cargo bike there. Um, I even saw a couple of cargo bikes that looked like they might be part of the cargo bike share system. And I, I think that's really, really important to uh, embrace 
that concept as well. Uh, cargo bikes are expensive. So if you can have a cargo bike sharing system like a Cargaroo or, or any of the other types of systems that are out there, I think it's really, really uh, a great way to bring that barrier down. But then again, there's another bike share bike right there. I believe, and I think I've seen some data to, uh, to match this, that many local Parisians are actually using the bike share system. So it's not just uh, tourists that are out there. The other thing that you see in some of these images is that we're seeing parents with their kids on their bikes. Again, this is sort of the litmus test to see if you are actually being successful with your bicycle network. Are you getting parents out there? Are you getting kids out there? Another great cargo bike box there. Uh, and and I, I think you can't, you know, just kind of brush that aside because if you're getting the people using a uh, bike chair and they're feeling safe enough to do so without wearing a helmet, you get kids, you get parents out there this is an indication that we are actually succeeding at creating an all ages and abilities network, which is the whole point. <laughs> you want to be able to have an environment which is truly safe and inviting to everybody uh, to encourage them to, to move forward. It, one of the, the key things that you also are starting to see too in this type of network is you're seeing people who have disabilities and, uh, you know, other other challenges, you know, physically challenged uh, and are able to use their mobility devices. We'll see some images later of a person in a wheelchair navigating down the Rue de Rivoli. And I, I think that that is something that we really have to lean into and accept is that this is not bike infrastructure. This isn't about bikes per se. Bikes are simply a tool manifestation of mobility but when you create a safe and inviting active mobility network like this, you are able to extend mobility out to those with challenged mobility issues. And they're able to use their motor scooters and their wheelchairs uh, in this type of environment. And uh, this is all some images right here from the Rue de Rivoli. And one of the things I wanted to check on here is seeing uh, that there is a split here. So I'm actually standing right between uh, the two different lanes of the act active mobility lanes here. And uh, it, it's so wide that oftentimes people are just going straight and going kind of the wrong way. So on this wide boulevard, we pan around here, take a look. They've cut it down all the way to just one lane, technically the bus lane, because of the market that is opening up. So clearly these lanes are not necessary. I then jumped into uh, walking through the marketplace. Uh, I, I absolutely love touring my way through uh, these uh, street fires and street marketplaces. And just down the block from where that market is set up, you'll see that this little area has bike parking and it's clearly had a road reduction. And again, you know, you just are so encouraged to see so many people out. And, and again, all ages and abilities, uh, different mobility modes. You see people on the, the scooters as well. Uh, I'm also noticing so many on-street bike parking facilities. Again, what a better way to uh, reimagine what a street is for uh, than to put in a uh, bike share, bike parking. Look at this massive bike share station. You saw the uh, repair person working on the Valib bikes there. Uh, but like I mean, you know, like I'm trying to say is that how better than to reimagine that space as single parking space on a street uh, can be reimagined as a parking space for 12 different bicycles. And so it, it really is a much more efficient uh, way to move forward. Another great image of you know parents with kids out there. Uh, also, you know, worth noting that it, it's not like this is a massive war on cars and, and cars aren't allowed in the city anymore. There's plenty of cars. There's still too many cars, really. Um, but really on these main streets, we're seeing the inclusion of protected and separated facilities. Uh, we'll see early, a little bit later some more truly traffic calmed areas and, and streets that uh, really are just you know, there's nothing to them. They're super narrow and they're shared space and they're low speed environments, which is what you see 
one block off of you know many of these streets that we see here where there's massive infrastructure, lots of bikes, and lots of people there. The smaller streets, the narrow streets, the historic streets are almost all just super narrow shared spaces. And, you know, and it's it's wonderful because they're super, super low speed environments. And these are just a series of still shots with photos uh, just to try to capture a little bit of that movement. Love the dogs in the cargo bikes as well. <laughs> it just really brings a smile to my face as well as all the parents with their kids. Hey, Thank you all so very much for watching. Uh, before we leave, I want to show you some night scenes. Okay, and I was just uh, popping into uh, the bar back there, the Frog, to have a beer. And they were saying, hey, yeah, this is like a really slow night. <laughs> Apparently it's a holiday weekend and a lot of people are not even in Paris right now, so, but how incredible it was. I mean, just that whole intersection back there, traffic calmed, and apparently it's been this way for the last 10, 15 years. And uh, yeah, so cool. Gotta love it. Hey, want to send a big, huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting me out on Patreon, buy me a coffee, YouTube, super thanks, right down there, <laughs> as well as buying things from the Active Town store, including Streets are for People shirts, water bottles, coffee mugs, all that good stuff. Hey, every little bit adds up and it really is much appreciated. Thank you all so much. Uh, well, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. <laughs>